Set a vision for the future. Let's get started. Hi, everyone. We are going to break out into groups. But before we do, I want to start with a little story. Out for a walk one morning, a woman came across a construction site where three men were working. Curious, she approached one of them and asked what he was doing, clearly annoyed that she had bothered him. He said, Can't you see? I'm laying bricks. Not easily put off, she asked the next man what he was doing. He answered a matter of factly, I'm building a wall. 20 feet tall, 100 feet wide, and 18 inches thick. Then turning his attention to the first man, he said, Hey, you just passed the end of the wall. You need to take off that last brick. Still not satisfied, the woman asked the third man what he was doing. Despite the fact that he appeared to be doing the exact same thing as the other two men, he looked up in excitement and said, Oh, let me tell you, I'm building the greatest cathedral the world has ever known. She could tell that he was eager to tell her more, but before he had a chance, he was distracted by loud bickering between the other two men about what to do about the one errant brick. Looking at the men, he said, Don't worry, guys. This will be an inside corner. The whole thing will get plastered over and no one will ever see that brick. Just move on to the next layer. The moral of the story. If you understand the overall objectives of your organization and how your work fits into it, it not only helps you to do your job, but it enables others to do their job better. It helps you to be a better leader. But more importantly, it will help you enjoy what you do. When setting goals, all of our team members should be aware of the big picture and what we are trying to achieve. Now, let's break out into groups and set some goals.